Hi, I'm Leanne of Body Shop Performance. This week's blog is about how to make your goals a success. So you're two weeks into January. Um, I hope you're doing well with your resolutions and your goals, uh, but you may find you've already had a little bit of a wobble. But even, you know, whatever stage you're at, I want to talk about how you can make your goals a success. And here's the main thing. Hopefully you've got this by now. The fact that we've just turned from 2018 to 2019 isn't going to be enough to get you through those stages of change that I'm going to talk about in a second. So you cannot rely on the fact that it's new year with a new year, new you, or any of that awful stuff. You really need to be clear on your intent. So the calendar change isn't enough. What is your intent? What do you really want to get done? And I urge you, as you may have seen me talk about before, to really pick apart at that goal. So what I very often see people do is they come to us and they say, I really want to lose weight. Um, I'm too stone overweight. I want that gone. It makes me feel horrible. I'm under energized. I'm not sleeping well. I want to get that two stone off. And most people would say, well, of course, you know, two stone. I completely get that. Let's look at how we're going to do it. Now, even though our business isn't really about weight loss, it's just one of the things that we help people with. I will always try and pick around that and, and find out what really sits behind that goal. Because very often it is a good deal more than just the weight loss. But what it really is about may be repressed trauma. It may be uh, very, very low self-esteem. It could be any number of things. A, a deep anxiety about their future health, for example. But they don't want to admit that. And a weight loss goal is something that we all accept, especially, of course, in January. So really pick apart. Ask yourself the why, 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 why do I really want this? Till you get to the truth of what you want to achieve and stare that in the face and get comfortable with it. And then consider why now is the time. It's not because it's January, because I can tell you that won't last. Why is now the time that you're going to be successful? And what do you need to set up around you? And what I find really helpful for this is to think about the stages of change. So we have pre-contemplation as the first stage. So you kind of think you might want to do something, start to entertain the idea, but you're nowhere near ready to do the piece that I've just talked about. Then you get into the contemplation phase. So this is a little bit more serious. Okay, if I'm going to do this, what might need to happen? How might it feel? How much time may I need to allocate to it? That's a really important phase. Uh, and then you get to the preparation or the research phase. And the research phase is very much about uh, looking into who might help you, what do you need to know, where might you need to go, uh, what kind of support's available, who else has done it really well, looking at case studies and testimonials and things like that. That's a really important phase, and that's the phase you might be in here in January. Uh, the next phase is action. So that's getting in touch with a coach. It's doing an a online quiz. It's, uh, it's looking into what gyms you can join, what classes are available. That's when you're actually, as the name suggests, taking action. So by this point, you've made your mind up on what you're going to do, what your intent is, and why now is the time you're going to do it. And then the final phase comes, in, it's called maintenance. So that's when you've achieved what you want to achieve, and now you're just maintaining that goal. So they're the five stages of change. So think about where you are in those stages of change as well, and don't try and jump ahead too quickly. So if you're in the pre-contemplation or the contemplation stage, great. You know, think about getting to the research stage, but don't think about getting to action yet because you need to, to follow those steps. It's been pretty well proven in that very uh, time-tested, tried-and-true model that they are the stages we go through. So if you follow all of that, get clear on your intent, pick apart what your real goal is, not the one you think is acceptable to people or yourself. Get clear on why now is the time and understand where you are in those stages of change and you're very likely to be successful. And of course, we wish you all the best. If we can help you with anything, then jump onto our website, take the Health IQ test, which is a good place to start. That's www.bodyshopperformance.com and click on take the test on the homepage and it'll take you right through to that. At the end of that, we'll give you a score. We'll give you a free 39 page report and the opportunity to book a 60 minute discovery session with one of our health experts. That's it from me for this week. Talk to you next week.